And we are hearing horror stories from storm survivors in southwest Florida. One man telling us how he was trapped in his apartment with the water rising and hurricane windows he could not break to get out. Local 10's Bridget Matter reports on the recovery after Ian. As we make our way into San Carlos Island, structures unrecognizable as rebuilding begins. We found Temple Condon, who lives in Sunnyland Court, a mobile home park on the island. I was scared. I was really scared. I started to panic and I was say, well, you know, the water's getting higher. When Hurricane Ian made landfall, she stayed, thinking she could ride out the storm. Panicking and trying to grab dry clothes. When water began to rise. She and neighbors ran to Carlos Hernandez's home, a second story apartment. It was scary. I never had this experience in my life. About 21 people were huddled in the one bedroom unit as Hurricane Ian lashed onto the coast. Almost everyone in the mobile home park crammed inside, but they wondered about one neighbor. Uh, where's Bob? Well, the, the Bob, the guy lives all downstairs. During the storm, they heard a banging. Those are the banging marks right there with the handle. Here's the handle I used. Carlos found a hammer to break a window and pulled Robert out, who says he didn't have much time left before he would likely drown. Had I couldn't get out, I would have got on that counter and stood as up to the top as high as I could. In the middle of all this debris, you're looking at a sign that says, Welcome to San Carlos Island. This is the neighborhood that woman lives in. She and her neighbors say they don't want to leave. They want to rebuild. Temple says she filed a FEMA application for disaster relief. Despite no. losing everything, um, she says it was denied. Uh, it said my application was denied. <laughs> I have nothing. Another devastating blow to the woman who lost her home of more than 20 years. And Robert, he couldn't break that window on his own because those are hurricane impact windows, so he couldn't do it from the inside. As for Temple, she says she's filing an appeal with FEMA. We're in San Carlos Island. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. Just incredible stories of Survivor keep coming out.